what we're going to do is we're going to take you guys out first to our on-site radar facility and we'll bring you guys back over and we'll show you a little bit of our vehicle holdings if you've ever heard of something called Vortex 2, uh, which a lot of folks not only in the broadcast side of things were involved with, but particularly on the science side with a number of universities, uh, including ourselves. Uh, we do have a number of our holdings from the Vortex 2 that you guys will be able to see today. Uh, I do apologize, there are some things that are not here. Uh, because we always, during the summer, do a variety of field projects. So we're doing field projects year-round. Um, it was a little bit too far to bus you guys to Costa Rica to see one of our other radars, so we're not going to do that today, sorry. Um, and then we also have one sitting at Cape, uh, or Camp Landing in Florida doing some rocket-triggered lightning things with the University of Florida. Um, and so we're not going to actually go there either today. But uh, we are going to head back out, hop on a bus, and we're going to ride over to the uh, OU Prime Radar Facility. And for those of you who are intrepid, uh, maybe even get a chance to walk up the uh, open air stairs cool. in our lovely, at least it's not blowing 50 miles an hour. Sometimes the stairway is a little treacherous when it's 50 to 60 miles an hour. Um, but we'll get an opportunity.